Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the slope and displacement of a beam using the method of virtual work. I have been given a steel beam and we have to determine the slope and displacement at point C. We have to use the method of virtual work. Modulus of elasticity for this beam is 200 gigapascal and moment of inertia is 250 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power. Four okay, you can see this is a cantilever beam uh, of total span uh, three meter fixed at A and and C is free. There is a moment of twelve kilonewton uh, meter uh, uh, moment applied at uh, and C in the clockwise direction and a concentrated load of magnitude six kilonewton applied at the midpoint of the beam that is at point B. We have to find the slope and displacement at point C. Okay. So the method to find the virtual work is that uh, where you have to find the slope or displacement you have to apply it there for slope you have to apply there virtual movement of magnitude 1 having the same magnitude as uh, your uh, loads which your loads are having okay and for the displacement you have to apply uh, concentrated load of magnitude 1 kilonewton or one newton according to the units of your load uh, on your beam okay here the units are uh, in kilonewton so we will apply for uh, to find the slope at point c we will apply the uh, we will apply the movement of one kilonewton meter at point c okay in the clockwise direction okay and for that we have to find the uh, fvd of this beam okay so slope will be given as m theta which is the movement at any section of the beam only due to the virtual movements okay and m it is the movement at any section of the beam due to the real loading okay and you have to integrate this from 0 to l and you will get the slope at point c okay so when we apply the movement this the first uh, this picture it is that is the second picture it is when we apply a virtual movement of one kilonewton at point c you can see i have applied a virtual movement of one kilonewton meter at point c and the third picture it is when actual loading is applied on the b after that you have to since there is a change in the loading from C to B, there is one type of loading and from B to A, there is another type of loading. So you have to take two variables. I have taken X1 from C and it is valid from C to B, okay, from 0 to 1.5. And after that, I have taken another variable X2, which is measured from B and it is valid in the region of this from, you can say from 1.5 to 3 meters, okay. So first to find the movement in this part you will make a cut at this point and then you will calculate the movement. Here 1 kN meter movement is applied that is a virtual movement. So if you cut a section at this point that is from 0 to 1.5 meter the movement here will be minus 1 kN meter okay because the movement at this end when you cut a section it will be also in the uh, clockwise direction that's why this value will be minus one kilonewton meter okay so it will be m plus one kilonewton meter is equal to zero that's why this m theta one it is minus one kilonewton meter okay so this is the movement at this section that is from zero to 1.5 and from 1.5 to 3 meter you have to make another cut at this end and again for this portion movement will be minus 1 kilonewton meter because there is no another loading ap applied on this beam when only virtual movement of 1 kilonewton meter is applied on the beam okay and movement at the fixed end will be 1 kilonewton meter okay to learn how to find the movement at movement or shear at any section you can watch my another video where i have clearly shown how to find movement at any section movement or shear at any section using the method of sections okay in this video we will focus on slope and displacement okay because it's a basic concept how to find the movement and 
shear at any section of the beam and when the actual loading of 12 kilonewton uh, meter is applied movement for this portion will be again because from the 0 to 1.5 meter no load only loading of 12 kilonewton meter is applied so movement at this portion will be minus 12 kilonewton meter okay and from 1.5 to 3 meter there will be 12 plus 6 into x2 and both will be negative so m2 will be minus 6 times x2 plus 12 because both movements will be clockwise this 12 kilo newton meter and plus 6 into x2 okay this x2 is measured from 1.5 to 3 meter okay and shear at the fixed end will be 6 kilo newton that is at end a and movement will be 12 plus 6 into 1.5 which is 21 kilonewton meter okay so you have to break the loading in the two parts the first will be valid from 0 to 1.5 that is from c to b okay m theta in this portion is minus 1 kilonewton meter that is movement due to the virtual movement uh, when only virtual loading is applied and m1 that is movement at this section when a real loading is applied on the p is minus 12 and it's valid from 0 to 1.5 you have to integrate this and from b to a uh, virtual movement is uh, virtual movement when virtual loading is applied is minus 1 kilo newton and actual movement where real loading is applied is minus bracket 6 x2 plus 12 and again you have to integrate this from 0 to 1.5 not from 1.5 to 3 because we are measuring x2 from b to a if we have taken x2 from c uh, if we have taken both x1 and x2 from c then the limits of x2 will be 1.5 to 3 but here x2 is taken from b so it will be 0 to 1.5 okay then you have to integrate uh, both uh, these equations so first equation will be 12 into x1 from 0 to 1.5 and second one will be 3 x x2 whole square plus 12 x2 and again 0 to 1.5 then in uh, for x1 you will put first 1.5 and then 0 and then calculate the value okay so its value will be when you uh, take x1 as 1.5 and when you add up these two so value will be 42.75 divided by ei okay and this is the slope at and c okay and e is 200 gigapascal we have to make the units consistent because our units of loads are kilonewton meter so, so it will be 200 into 10 raised power 6 kilonewton per meter square. I is 250 into 10 raised power 6 mm raised power 4. So its value will be 250 into 10 raised power minus 6 meter raised power 4. Okay. Put the value of E and I in the equation. You will get the value of slope. So it will be 42.75 divided by 200 into 10 raised power 6 into 250 into 10 raised power minus 6, which is equal to 0 0.000855 radians and its value is clockwise because it's positive okay so our slope will be in the same direction as the applied movement as the applied virtual movement we have applied the virtual movement in the clockwise direction so slope will be in the clockwise direction because it's positive if it has been negative then the slope will be in the anti-clockwise direction okay since our value of slope is positive so it means it is in the same direction as the direction of the applied virtual movement okay so slope is 0 0.000855 radians okay so this was for the slope now for the displacement the procedure will remain same instead of applying the virtual movement you now have to apply the virtual unit load at the same location where you have to find the displacement since we have to find the displacement at c so you will apply the virtual load of one kilo newton at point c okay and then again you will find the movements due to this virtual loading okay so displacement is given as zero to l m m is the movement 
when a movement at any section of the beam when only virtual loading is applied and capital M is the movement at any section when only real loading is applied on the beam okay divided by EI into DX you have to integrate this from 0 to L again x1 will be taken from c to b and x2 from b to a okay so when one kilonewton is applied you will cut the section at this point so movement will be minus x1 that is 1 into x1 which is minus x1 will be the movement in this portion from 0 to 1.5 and from 1.5 to 3 movement will be first 1 into 1.5 which is 1.5 plus uh, 1 into x Two, okay so it will be uh, it will be minus 1.5 plus x2 okay this will be the movement uh, from in this section that is from 1.5 to a okay uh, shear at this end we don't require this at the fixed end is 1 kN since only uh, virtual a concentrated load of one kilonewton is applied on the beam so shear at this fixed end will be one kilonewton and movement will be one into three that is three kilonewton meter in the anti-clockwise direction okay and when the real loading is applied so we have already calculated it in the slope uh, when real loading is applied movement at this section will be m1 that is in 0 to 1.5 will be minus 12 kilonewton meter and in the second portion it will be 12 plus 6 into x2 okay 12 plus 6 into x2 and both terms will be negative okay uh, I have taken a minus as common from both the terms that's why minus bracket 6 x2 plus 12 okay shear at this end will be 6 kN and movement will be 12 plus 6 into 1.5 which is 21 kilonewton meter will be the movement at the fixed end okay then again you have to break this into two parts first will be valid from 0 to 1 point that is in the portion of c to b it will be minus x1 okay movement uh, due to only virtual concentrated load and minus 12 movement due to the real loading okay this is for the portion c to a and in the portion b to a it will be minus 1.5 that is this plus x2 multiplied by minus 6 x2 plus 12 okay movement due to the virtual load and movement due to the actual load and again uh, limits of integration will be from 0 to 1.5 because we are taking x2 from b to a okay and when you integrate this it will be the first part will be 6 into x1 square divided by ei 0 to 1.5 plus second part will be 4.5 x2 whole square plus 18 x2 plus 2 x2 uh, whole raised power 3 plus 6 x2 whole raised power 2 and again from 0 to 1.5 so for x1 you have to put first 1.5 and then 0 you know how to do the integration okay so its value will be 70.875 when you add up both these value will be 70.875 divided by ei this will be the value of deflection at uh, at and c okay so e is 200 gigapascal that is e 200 raised power 6 kilonewton per meter square i is 215 to 10 raised power 6 m raised power 4 that is 215 to 10 raised power minus 6 meter raised power 4 putting value of uh e and i we get the value of deflection equal to 0 0.00142 meter or in uh, sorry mm this is mm uh, in, uh, sorry this is meter 0 0.00142 meter and in terms of mm it will be 1.42 mm again since the applied uh, loading and uh, since deflection is positive so it is in terms of the applied uh, concentrated load okay so concentrated load here is concentrated load here is applied in the downward direction so that's why the deflection is in the downward direction okay uh, concentrated load this is for this image is for the slope okay in the previous slide I have shown when the unit load is applied okay so deflection here is uh, 
in the downward direction because it is positive we have applied the concentrated load in the downward direction since uh, the value of deflection came out to be positive it means its direction is same as the applied virtual loading which was in the downward direction okay so deflection here is in the downward direction so this is how you can calculate the value of slope and deflection due to uh, virtual um, due to loading using the method of virtual work i hope this solution video was clear and effective if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box and if you want to know that how to find the movement and shear at any point uh, of a beam using the method of section you can watch my another video okay and if you have doubts you can write them in the comment box okay and uh, if you found this video helpful you can like this video share this video with your friends thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned